Brandon. Thanks for your question. Um, if we are trying to find the percentage error in big R, what we're going to do is we're going to find the relative error in big R and then just convert it to a percent. So we're going to find the relative <laughs> error in big R and convert 2%. Now the relative error in big R, in math speak, that means we're finding dr over r, d big R over r. So this is the formula um, that's going to be our end goal. Um, so we are given the equation that big R is equal to k over little r squared. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that in exponential form. Um, where k is a constant, r is our radius, and that the possible relative error in little r is plus or minus 5%. Again, in math speak, what they're saying when they say this above right here is they're saying that d little r over little r, which is the possible relative error in little r, is between negative 0 0.05 and 0 0.05. Okay. So to find d big R over big R, we're going to take this formula above and we're going to differentiate both sides implicitly. That means that d big R is equal to k times negative 2 little r to the negative 3 d little r. If I want to find d big R over big R, let's just go ahead and divide both sides by R. I happen to know by the equation above that big R is equal to k R little r to the negative 2. So instead of dividing this side by big R, I'm going to divide it by the equivalent expression for big R. So k R to the negative 2. If we simplify that, we will get negative 2 r to the negative 1 dr, which is equal to 2 dr over r. Now we're starting to see something that almost looks like this. We're going to go ahead and apply, start using this equation, and try and turn this equation into this expression here. So we know from above that d little r over r is in between negative 0 0.05 and 0 0.05. We also know that d big r over r is equal to negative 2 d little r over r. That's okay, let's just multiply both of these sides, multiply through by negative 2. Um, when we do that, we are going to get that point 0.1, since I'm multiplying through by a negative, um, I need to go ahead and flip my inequality, is negative 2 dr over r um, times Let's go ahead and flip these inequalities back um, the way we're used to seeing this. And now that we have negative 2 d little r over r in the middle here, we can rewrite it as d big r over r. What this means is that d big r over r is greater than negative 0.1 and less than 0.1. Now we're going to go ahead and convert this to percent. Um, so we'll, we get 10%, negative 10%. So it looks like our percentage error in D big R, in big R, excuse me, is plus or minus 10%. And that'll be the final answer for this question. Thanks again for your question, and I look forward to answering more of your questions using SnapMath in the future.